We are currently watching a pivotal moment for cryptocurrency on the world stage. In today's video, I'm going to go through the latest updates for Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and much more on how this is going to affect your crypto portfolio going forward. Crypto is about to go crazy, and I don't mean that lightly. So stay tuned and definitely watch to the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. If you're new to Crypto Busy and you want to see more videos about the crypto markets, about Bitcoin and everything else in between, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And if you do like the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And so with that being said, guys, let's jump straight into the video. So as you can see right now, things are quite calm, actually. This is recorded on a Sunday afternoon, and we're just about to enter a new week for crypto. Don't get me wrong, as much as I'm going to be talking in a bullish sense for crypto in the longer stage, there is going to be a lot of volatility going forward. There's going to be days where we're going to be seeing a lot of red in the markets, and that's not going to be fun for anybody. But again, going through everything we're going through right now and what we've seen over the past few days, what we've seen played out over the past few days for crypto specifically is huge and it shouldn't be underestimated at all. If you have a look what's happened with Ukraine, millions of Bitcoin pouring into Ukraine from donors, making Ukraine one of the largest states in the world to hold Bitcoin, to hold cryptocurrency. They didn't just the official Ukraine Twitter page, they didn't just leave out their Bitcoin address. They also mentioned their ERC20 address, allowing payments in Ethereum and also USDT to go directly to the Ukrainian government, which is absolutely insane, guys. And so this is a pivotal moment in terms of what's happening with crypto on the world stage. And so I'll go through a tweet later on that explains the insanity of what we're seeing right now in terms of the validity of the US dollar, the validity of most Viet currencies that are out there. And where does Bitcoin, where does crypto play? And where does it fit on the world stage? We're entering a very interesting stage at all. It's absolutely insane. The European Central Bank urges haste on crypto regulation in wake of Russian sanctions. I said this earlier this year. I said this year in 2022, we're going to be seeing two major things. We're going to be seeing regulation for number one, and we're going to be seeing adoption, crypto adoption for number two. And we're already seeing both of those play out in the end of February. It's not even March as of yet, and we're already seeing those play out already. Now, again, I, I didn't predict that this would happen in, in this sort of way, but again, I did say we're going to be seeing a lot of regulation. We're going to see a lot of adoption this year in a lot of senses. So the European Central Bank, this is in the European Union. For the UK, it also affects the UK as well. We're going to be seeing a lot of regulation very soon, even though Joe Biden himself did postpone some of the uh, crypto executive orders. They're going to be coming very soon. So just be aware of that as well. Now, CZ, the CEO of Binance, he said now, what is money? If we take into account the millions of dollars that's poured into Ukraine in Bitcoin and also in Ethereum and USDT, what is money at the end of the day? What is it? You know, we, 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 it's times like this we have to ask yourself these really fundamental questions of how does something become money? How does something become of value? And I think we get, we're steering away from Bitcoin being a store of value and certainly holding its validity in terms of what it is. A currency. It's a cryptocurrency and people can use it to transact from one place to another. If we go further to that as well, which I'm going to explain later on in the video about SWIFT and how this is also going to affect XRP, stick around for that as well. We've got some interesting stuff. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at CryptoBusy. We get some behind the scenes video stuff on there as well. So going into the price action for Bitcoin, as you can see, um, a lot of crazy price action over the past week. We're still in some form of downtrend for Bitcoin for the time being, but things are picking up. As you can see, um, when uh, Russia did invade Ukraine, you saw that wick here for the candle on the daily time frame. But again, as I did mention, it's just only going to be a wick on that daily time frame for that particular candle right there. Now, we could be seeing more wicks like this. We could be seeing more candles like this as we progress through this week, going into next month as well. And also on top of that, everything else that's playing out in the world stage at the moment, we have also have the potential uh, rate uh, the rate hikes happening in, in March as well for the United States, for the Federal Reserve, raising the interest rates. That could also be affecting Bitcoin's price going forward. I think if they do raise them, I think there'll be an initial knee-jerk reaction of a sell-off and then from there, a bouncing upwards on Bitcoin's price from then onwards. It does, we're also we're at the mercy of what happens with the Federal Reserve. So that is also important there when it comes to Bitcoin's price. Another thing to be aware of as well, guys, is you know, these key levels need to be recaptured. As you can see, um, the $40,000 region is, or the $40,000 level is a very key level for 
for Bitcoin's price going forward. If we're able to see a daily close of Bitcoin um, above $40,000, then this will be pivotal for Bitcoin's price going forward. Right now, we're at 39100 39200 at the moment. We're still in a long trade over on Bybit. But as you can see right now, 39200 is for the price for the time being. Now, when this video does come out, we could be seeing some other prices. We could be seeing maybe a lot of drastically different prices, but the points and the, the issues I'm talking about in today's video is still relevant. But again, looking at what's happening recently, um, you know, we're seeing a recent uptrend in Bitcoin's price. We could be seeing the retest of key levels, but for the time being, it's on a Sunday. So, you know, the, the volume is out of the market for the time being. We could be seeing that rushed back into the markets on Monday, and especially what has happened with SWIFT and, and Russia being um, sanctioned and dispelled from, from uh, or expelled actually from SWIFT. That is also going to be an added effect to Bitcoin's price going forward. And I think that will be might be a positive action price going forward for Bitcoin. Now, as I said, we are currently in a long trade on Bitcoin and also Ethereum and also XRP over on Bybit. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP. We've been in these trades for quite some time now. Um, we're going to have some take profits there, but we do also have um, some stop losses there, of course, uh, for good risk management. But for the time being, um, yeah, looking at the one minute chart on, uh, on Bybit, because it's always fun to see Bitcoin's price go crazy. Um, yeah, but again, for the time being, I'm just looking at what happens. Uh, again, I'm still long term bullish on Bitcoin's price, and um, I will get out of these trades fairly soon just to sort of reset and reanalyze for the week ahead. So that's what we're doing over on Bybit. If you do want to trade a Bybit and uh, trade Bitcoin's price, whether it's going up or down, whether you're bullish or bearish, you can. You can make profit on that as well. Um, all capitals at risk there, of course. Um, you can sign up, deposit, and start using Bybit today uh, using our link down in the description below. Get $4,100 as a bonus and 30 percent discount on fees which is super important we also have our crypto busy vrp coin course all linked down in the description below you get much better access and also um, assistance on there as well when it comes to what to do for cryptocurrencies there's a 100x portfolio on there and um, there's great community interaction as well and going through the fundamentals and the technicals every single day 24 7 is on there linked down in the description below make sure that you check that out so let's have a look what's happening further to that i did mention swift and what's going to happen with xrp of course as you can see fear in the markets and we're going to still be seeing fear in the markets for the time being um, this could change quite quickly from fear to greed now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm also not a geopolitical expert. And when it comes to these sort of things, I am greedy when others are fearful and I'm fearful when others are greedy. And that's reflective in the trades I'm taking right now in also the dollar cost averaging I'm doing into Bitcoin, into Ethereum and also XRP as we speak. Um, so that's super important going forward. Now, let's have a look what's happening with SWIFT. Now, this is a massive move for the West to do. So the West is going to cut off some Russian banks from SWIFT. This is massive. And I do think, in my opinion, we could be seeing the end of the US dollar as the world reserve currency. As much as it may be sort of a, a quick reaction to try and find a way to deal with the situations happening in Ukraine at the moment, I think in the longer term, we could be seeing the sun set on the US dollar as the world reserve currency. And where we go from this, well, that's going to be quite interesting. I think XRP is going to you know, play a stage in this as well. Um, it's certainly going to play um, some form of role going into what's going to be happening next. Currently, it is SWIFT. SWIFT has been around since the 1970s. It is an analog technology in the digital age. And there's time for a change, in my opinion. Now, this is an article from, the, from February 15th, 2018. So four years ago. Um, but again, it shows how important RippleNet has been going over the cross of the world ever since, um, you know, sort of the beginning of CryptoVisi and also talking about XRP as well. Saudi Arabia central bank signs blockchain deal with Ripple. And ever since then, and, and ever since the beginning of RippleNet and also Ripple Labs um, and XRP itself, they have been constantly trying to find ways to make deals with different governments across the world. Although we're seeing a cutoff from SWIFT for the time being, and Iran was also cut off from SWIFT, but it has also eventually since then been um, let back in. And we could be seeing a change in stands, a shifting SWIFT, in my opinion. And so this is the difference between RippleNet and also SWIFT. I'm just going to move my face over here. As you can see, RippleNet on the, on the left here and also SWIFT on the right, as you can see. So... Um, RippleNet right now, again, formed in 2012 and uh, Swift 1973. Brad Garlinghouse is the CEO. Um, but again, going further to this, it's settlement time, seconds, but it takes up to 10 days for Swift. In today's world of instant, you want everything to be instant, instant messaging. You know, you want everything to be so quick. You've got, you know, fiber optic internet at you know, high speeds, um, you know, the Hyperloop, everything has to be so fast these days. And when you have a, you know, a current banking system that's based on a settlement of up to, tw of to 10 days, absolutely insane, seconds compared um, where it is the RippleNet. Uh, and so also in as well, uh, instant settlement when it comes to RippleNet compared to Swift. 
um, liquidity sourcing as well. That was also with um, Ripple Net. And then also going on to that as well, it's a messaging service for Swift. It isn't, again, as I said, it is digital, but it's analog. It's an analog technology in a digital age. And when it comes to that, when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution, which we're going through right now, um, you know, blockchain is a part of that. And that is going to play a big part in that as well. It's also decentralized. There's many people saying that, oh, you know, Ripple controls large amount of XRP. No, Ripple says what we're going to do, we're going to essentially cut ourselves away from the, the reserves of XRP that's out there. It's going to go to escrow, so we can't even access that at all. It's going to be released onto the markets every single month, and there'll be about a billion XRP going onto the markets every single month, and we'll have to deal with that as well. Fiat and also crypto, that is what RippleNet can do, uh, but uh, Swift can only do Fiat, and especially what has happened recently with um, Ukraine and how billions not billions, but potentially even billions soon, but millions of Bitcoin being poured into Ukraine, which is a state. It is a country. It is the same with, you know, other things as well. Um, you know, other countries that are out there, such as El Salvador, even Turkey looking into Bitcoin. They're looking into a cryptocurrency as a form of legal tender. And it was a line of code 13 years ago. It is now legal tender now. And so, again, RippleNet can deal with fiat and also crypto. Swift cannot. And also the country served right now, it is half of what Swift can do. But for the time being, I think this will change fairly soon. And so that's where I think that was going to happen with XRP. And I think in the future, we could be seeing this reflected in XRP's price. But then also for the rest of crypto and also for Ethereum as well. We're going to see some very interesting stuff going forward. So that is my opinion what's happening with crypto. We're in some very crazy times. You know, Buckle up, guys, because you know, we're about to get into some very, very crazy times very soon. So just be aware of that. What we're doing at Crypto Busy, we're still dollar cost averaging into crypto. We're still building up our crypto positions because we do feel it has a position on the world stage. And it has a, certainly an idea of where things are going, especially what's happened over the past week. So do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with me. We're very interested to hear what you guys have to say. And they'll also be responding to some comments down below as well. We have seen a recent influx in subscribers. So thank you to each and every one of you who is a part of the Crypto Busy family. If you haven't done so already, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And if you do like the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And so with that being said, guys, it's bye from me. I'll see you guys in the next one.